Can we all just ignore my friend Felipe? He used to be bigger, but I popped him, and now he's just a scab. But I've named him Felipe, he's my twin. So try not to stare at it too much, but like, you can if you want. But he's a great guy, but I wish he would go away. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with round three of Jay Reads Harry Potter. This is number three, Prisoner of Azkaban. You guys seem to like my first two vlogs of me reading Harry Potter for the first time, so I figured why not make the third version of it for book number three. Obviously, this is going to have spoilers in it because like everybody and their mother has read Harry Potter, so if you haven't, then like don't watch this video to see my spoilery reactions. But like you probably have, so stick around to see them because I don't remember shit in these books. I mean, I'm usually freaking out about everything, so stick around. So I'm gonna start reading and we'll see what I think of it as we go on and I give you my reactions. Let us begin. I just finished the part where Harry like blows up his aunt with like the spell to make her like a balloon and honestly all I could picture in my head was in Shrek when they have those like frog balloons. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'll see if I can like insert a picture here but literally that's all I could think about. I was like sitting there giggling. I don't know why I thought it was so funny but like frog balloons. <laughs> I'm in the middle of chapter four and Ron and Hermione and Harry just met up and Hermione wants to buy an owl so they're at the pet store right and it says a gigantic tortoise with a jewel-encrusted shell was glittering near the window. And honestly, all I can think is I want it. Like, a bejeweled tortoise. It's like in Seventeen again, where he's like, bedazzled with rhinestones. Like, a I want it. That's my update for now. I know, exciting, right? <laughs> I'm liking Hermione a little bit more now because she just bought a cat instead of an owl. So, like relatable but like still kind of find her annoying i'm sorry everybody maybe she'll grow on me because i know everybody gets mad at me when i say that i don't like hermione but like she's so annoying we'll see what i think of her as the story goes on everyone says she gets better in this book so we'll see the sneakoscope just went off in the train cart with lupin in it and i just want to say that ron hermione and harry are so stupid because they're like hmm, that's so weird i wonder why it's going off like are any of you guys untrustworthy that's so weird like obviously it's lupin are you guys stupid like i don't understand the logic here and like they don't know who lupin is and neither do i i have no idea i'm pretty sure he turns into a rat later that's all i can really remember about the book or the movie because like i haven't read the book but, like, how stupid can you be? And also, like, they started talking about going to Hogsmeade, right? And Ron has the right idea. He's like, oh, yeah, there's a candy shop, and it's, like, so good, and I want to go there. And Hermione's being a little annoying and being like, this is the history. Like, nobody cares. Keep talking about candy. Ron's got it right. Hermione's so annoying. I'm so happy. Hagrid is a teacher now. And, like, I love Hagrid. He's, like, my little angel baby unicorn. He's my favorite character. And just seeing him happy makes me happy, and I'm just, yeah! so cute and I, I can't wait to read more about Hagrid that's all I'm at the part where Malfoy is like making fun of Harry for like fainting at the Dementors and what I don't understand is that he tells the same joke like over and over and over again and people are still laughing like in real life when somebody tells the same joke like repeatedly I'm usually like okay like it was funny the first time maybe the second time but like after you've told the joke 20 times like it's not funny anymore so what i don't understand is why people are still laughing like is that is that just me or like i don't understand someone please explain thank you i'm at the part where we just met professor trelawney and she's the professor for deviation or however you say that but she can tell the future right so she's telling the students futures while she's like making her opening speech and it is so funny like she is stirring shit and i am living for it like she's like oh yeah by the way like watch out for a redheaded man and are you your grandma's sick and are you like you're probably gonna die soon but like i'm sure you're fine like i think it's hilarious like, like if i was her i would be doing the exact same thing just like freaking everybody out and like nobody can be like oh, oh my god like this isn't true because like she can tell the future like i would be such a shit disturber if i had that power and i am loving every second of it okay so if i couldn't hate malfoy more than i already do i hate him so much right now he made my little baby angel unicorn hagrid so sad and he might get like fired from his job because of stupid malfoy insulting the hippogriff when hagrid said don't insult the hippogriffs or you're gonna get attacked and what does malfoy do he he insults the stupid hippogriff i probably shouldn't have 
you know, insulted it. But still, like, I'm so mad right now. Like, I just want to protect Hagrid so badly, and I just want to squish him and hug him and love him, and just, I hate Malfoy. I hate him. I just got to the part where Snape takes over the dark arts class because Lupin's not feeling well, and he teaches them all about werewolves. Okay, this is my prediction. Probably, like, completely wrong. So he's teaching them how to kill and hunt werewolves, right? So either Black is a werewolf or Lupin is a werewolf. But I think that it's Lupin because Lupin is wolf in French, right? Am I wrong for that? I'm not sure, but that's my, my like, prediction. Lupin's a werewolf and he's teaching all the students how to kill Lupin. There we go. That's what I'm going with. Let's see if I'm right. I finally know what I solemnly swear I'm up to no good is from. I just got to that part, so exciting! I can now say that and actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Also, the idea of that map and, like, being able to see where all the teachers are would have been so helpful during, like, any time of my high school career. Because I was up to no good. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> but seriously, like, if I had known where all the teachers were, I would never have gotten in trouble, ever. Lupin is teaching Harry how to, like, get rid of the Dementors, right? In my opinion, I would not want to learn how to get rid of them because every time I fainted, they give me chocolate. So why would you want to learn how to not receive chocolate? These are the thoughts that go through my head while I read this book. Like, a sane person would be like, yeah, I want to get rid of the Dementors, but I'm like, no, give me chocolate. Thank you. Hermione just punched Malfoy in the face. And I've never liked her more than I have right now. I still don't like her. She's still annoying to me, but, like, she's moving up on the ranks, so... All can stop hating on me for hating Hermione, because she's, like, a little bit better now. But still, like, not... not my favorite. I was totally right about Lupin being a werewolf. I'm so proud of myself. Thanks to me for knowing French. Woo! Also, I had no idea that the Peter guy was Scabbers. But I would like to point out that I did say that somebody was a rat at the beginning of this video. So I did remember slightly something. I just thought it was Lupin at the beginning. And also, Sirius Black, is he bad or good? I'm confused now. Because I thought he was bad, but then he's saying Harry doesn't understand. So, like, I have to keep reading to figure it out. But I feel like I'm going to like Black. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, shit. Snape just showed up in the house thingy that Severus and Lupin and Hermione and Ron and Harry are right now. And he about to throw shit down and I am so excited. I hope there's like a huge war and somebody dies. Hopefully Hermione, which I know is not gonna happen, but still hope she dies. <laughs> I'm on the last chapter, but I have like a couple thoughts before I finish the book. One, I want a time turner. I had no idea what a time turner was, but everybody talked about a time turner and said like how cool they were. And now that I know what it is, like need, I need it in my life. Who? I'm gonna be so pissed off if anything happens to Sirius Black. He is an angel baby unicorn. Like another one, I just love him. When he asked Harry to live with him and Harry said yes and his whole like face lit up like, oh my God, cutest thing ever. Like I just want him to be happy. He deserves so much better than what he's gonna get because I know that he dies. I don't know if it's in this book, but I know that it happens and I'm not okay with it, JK Rowling. Three, I'm so happy that Buckbeak got saved. That's so exciting. Because I was so pissed off when he got killed. Like I was like, <laughs> do not kill my little animal. I hate it when animals die in books and the fact that he got executed I was pissed off, so I'm very happy that he's saved. Four, I hate Snape even more now. He is so annoying and just, ugh, why does he exist? Like, can we just execute him? Can he just be gone? Can he be the next one killed and Sirius can stay alive? I feel like this is a better development in the story. I finished it. It's done. Oh my gosh. Harry's Patronus is his dad. Like, my heart. I can't deal with the cute. I just... <laughs> but yeah, obviously, five out of five stars. I love Harry Potter. I'm jumping on the Harry Potter bandwagon. If you guys want to see a fourth... Harry Potter read along with Jay for the first time, then let me know down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!